welcome back to my channel this is peter in this video i'll be showing you how i created this flyer it's beautiful fraction all right so let's just get over with this funny enough the story is going to be very very brief so the first thing i did I, was i brought my background all right so this is it so then just um come to this guy here and stretch the background and come to its position make sure it's at the center i think i'm still having more space then you can just you can just increase it a bit under the weather i'm about to sneeze that i'm just trying to control it so just come here and lock this up so the next one is probably this element it is so the next thing I'll just do is come here and change tamper with the U to minus about minus 13 minus I think this should be around 60 this should be about okay now so this is I lock that so I'll come here click on draw I'll set the color to white increase draw and increase the blow so I'll just like play around this side so I'll stretch my draw to just be like 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 light reflection from that side then I may just reduce the opacity a bit So I'll just stretch this. I'll lock this. Alright, so we have that. So I'll, I'll now start positioning the images of my model. So this first. Let's put it to the top. Then I think I need this. Increase the size of this. Somewhere around here. Let's see, um, this appears to be too big. Okay, then I lock that side. Then this one, move this one to the top. So let's see. I think that is, this is a bit hokey. So we'll keep that day. So but I'm going to do something here. Since the, the right reflecting there is white. So come here. So come back to our draw. I'll increase the paint size. Then I'll just position somewhere around intersecting this model there. Alright, so then I'll send it to the back. Alright, so be just like a light that is bouncing so let's see if we can set it at 30 okay so we leave that day Move this to the top, unlock this so we stretch it. Okay, so let's see. We will just keep this one somewhere around the air. Okay, so. Then I will just um I guess I'll just lock this one. Yeah, I guess I'm done with that. So 
so we we'll lock this then the next thing is we we'll bring this other image move it to the top so just we'll use my ready position so i want more of it here i just noticed the image is somehow Oh, there is kind of a whole lot side of our head so i have to go back and edit the image and send it back to you so the one you'll be getting you know be seeing there's kind of hole somewhere around you so the one you'll be getting is not going to have that error so okay so the next thing is draw Okay. Okay, so So I have that day reduce the opacity to, to about 30. Okay, let's see about just All right, so keep that thing. So there is one thing I'm going to do again is I'll just set this. I'll set this color here. Okay. Okay, so I have that day. I'm still with the color. I love coming to this place. Still that same color. I'll just come here and reduce the size to this place. I'll click on OK. I don't have that because I don't want to do that. Okay, I already have that here. But however, I think I came. I came to. Um, I chose this color. The color on that this wine so you click i clicked on it so i now dragged it no, it was supposed to be like this and i now dragged it somewhere around here yeah so that's how i got this particular color you see it's still reflecting then i came to texture click on my texture then i used this particular place and i just came here is it like this stretched it Okay, just a nibble. So, all right. So we have that. The I'm thinking of this white here. Maybe I should just um, reduce the cost. If I'm trying to increase the sharpness now, it should not be reflecting. So there's this other element. Position one somewhere around here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I don't like that noise. Okay, so we have all right. So, oh yeah, the next one is this the top. So, I'll just come here, increase the saturation.
then I'll just then come here and lock every of your elements. So we just come here and add the dates and the likes. Add your the name and the dates. So so I bring that to the top. Change the color to white. Then, so the the place I have to you, I'm just going to come to eraser and erase it. Oh, so I want a clay. So and all you just need to do about the dates, you can see the way I use my dates. Okay, let me just assume. O o o five dots. O five dots. O eight dot. O um. Now today is this, the year is twenty twenty four. Alright, so let me just position this one here. I don't know. Then I uh, use I use poppins. So poppins medium. Alright, so that I'm just gonna pause this video, write the name and the likes. Okay, so uh, I'm done with the dates. You can see the date I used. I use, I use line spacing. I use spacing about 15. So that's why the it is stretched like this. But the name, I didn't use any space in there. So I'll just come here and save my image as, um, you can save it as custom. But I'm still looking at these white lights in the middle of this, um, this one. No, this, that is kind of too obvious. Because when I start, um, when I start sharpening my image now, I think I'll leave it at 20. Then this other one, I will leave it at also at 20. So let's now save our design so we can save the. So the next step I'll be taking it to is Pixarts. One of my favorites, Pixarts. Alright, I have already have everything brought in here. So, so the first thing is. Okay, let me just discard this. Don't save. So, this. Alright, so I noticed one error here in my background. I noticed an error in the background. So, um, the, the background is not wide stretch. I'm seeing the hedge of. Yeah, I'm seeing that hedge. Just arrange it safe now okay so i can now still save my image then just go back let's see okay so i'll just come here come to hard image then i'll just go to my lens flare i think i had a, i have i'm having a lens flare here so I'll add it. Then I'll try and change the hue till I get okay. I'll just keep it to the this point of fifty five. Then I'll click on OK. Then I'll change the blend mode to screen over am um, screen then i'll stretch it and that light see that's the color of that that light okay so 
then I'll come to opacity and man I don't know so I'm almost done so then we'll just come to add photo again we'll bring in this we'll add this then we'll just stretch it out just to just let, just let it cover the entire design so the next thing i'll come here and do blend mode i'll set it to overlay now this is just going to make every of my elements blend now i just click on the screen i'll come here click on this element back just to see um, reduce then this time reduce the opacity to about maybe 30 your choice so once you're done click on this mark click on okay now i use photoshop express for my enhancing so i'll just come to ps express you can well, regardless of the software you use so i just use photoshop express so i'll click on the element this but the design then i'll just please see uh, you can subscribe to my channel you can get my course in case you want i have a graphic design course then uh, you can increase the texture to about 30 clarity to about 30 sharpen it also to about 30 okay um the he is maybe about 10 so green i like adding green maybe 10 you can tamper with the contrast a bit but i don't know i don't think i will need okay you can add a bit of tint because of we used magenta so okay so i think that's all for this tutorial so save all right don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video